Welcome back guys to my let's play clock tower where we left off we saw another ending so let's check the ending list again so minus a we got b c or b d and e so what about c hopefully we'll, we'll get c and a done right off the bat here but let's go data load let's load back up to a particular spot so this one here this one plays quite a bit of importance i think this one or is it this one I always doubt i had this issue last time they think it's this one. I'm pretty confident. Oh yeah, totally this one. Okay. So, why are we loading up here? Well, we're going to use that fireplace key. Sorry, I know this. You get the key from Harris. We go in here and see Jennifer die again. Yes, yes, we're gonna kill her off again. Actually, wait a second. Sorry, just trying to figure out. Sorry, I'm trying to remember, where do I get, because you need one particular item. Oh, now I'm trying to remember, where do we find the cosmetic key? Where... Where do we find the cosmetic key? Try to remember where we found it. I don't remember where I found the cosmetic key. Where was that thing? Squish our fireplace. Because, like, we need the key. Where was the key? I should pause it. Give me a second, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, before we go in there, let's go get the cosmetic key. That's actually um, that little box in the library. So, before we go into the fireplace, let's go get that key. So, I don't think I go... That's, I don't remember this is unlocked for me. I think it's still locked. We're gonna try. I think... Okay, we have the key. Good. This is kind of a shortcut to get to here. It will not open. Okay, so I need the library key. <sighs> Where do I get the library key now? Oh my goodness. It's unfortunate. trying to rack my brain of where I get the library key. Oh, I know where I get the library key. Derp. I had to go see a mouse. I remember now. How you guys doing? Hopefully you're doing well. You know, watching me, you know, backtrack. Because I can't remember what I need, where I need to go, what I need to do, all that fun stuff. Okay, so let's go up here. cook on that <laughs> sorry accidentally click that and let's go get that key <sighs> I totally play this game way too much I totally remember everything is actually I don't all right, mouse hold. Let's grab it. So now let's go to the library. 
We totally didn't take a scenic route to, you know, get to Seki. We totally didn't take a scenic route. Just saying. There we go. Will you see that toasty fire again? Oh, toasty toastiness. Okay, so let's examine the tiny, 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 there we go. So I'm not going to do the dialogue, we, we already know this. Yeah. Helen's going to push that, we're going to get the tiny, tiny box. Okay, and this on this, because it's super effective. Good, okay, now we can resume our fantastical fantastic quest of a multiple endings adventure ness 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 all right so let's head here and then go in here And of course, use the key on this so we can get the map. Okay, and let's go see Jennifer. See how she's hanging. What should we do? Well, what we should, should do? do nothing. We could try throwing something at him. Maybe. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he just wanted to get it done and over with, apparently. Jennifer, oh, why? All right. So with that all done. Let's get out of here. Come on. Oh, wait, my exit's over here. I think. Where's my exit? Oh, wait, I have to go back in here. Right. Right. Because you need to confront Scissor Man and be like, why? Okay, now we can leave. And with all said and done, we're gonna go to the fireplace. Oh, not fireplace, the fountain. One spews water, the other spews fire. Same thing. Not really. And we're gonna go down below. Because we got everything we need. We totally do. We got this book, we got this map, we got the evil statue. We are totally ready to face this man.
All right, let's go down below. Professor Barton. Oh, Helen. I found something very important. Scissorman's secret was hidden here. Did you find it? Yes. And with this, we can probably destroy Scissorman. It's back there. Take a look. Okay. All right, so that was ending C. God damn it, Barton. Ah, <sighs> and your dramatic, my voice is a trap voice. Uh, so yeah, that was ending C. So now we get to get A. Finally. Jeez. So what is required for A? Well, a whole bunch of stuff is required for A. So let's data load. Let's go back here. Cause like I said, there's stuff we need to do before we go find Jennifer. Biggest thing, she needs to be alive. So, we need to do a couple things here. We need to go find gods, we need the lead balls, we need all that fun jazz, and all those bells and whistles. You know the usual guys, so let's go in here. And guess what guys, after we get this ending, we're done with Helen's. Now what does that mean? We can play as Jennifer. Jennifer's route is the um, more well-known one. Um, as I'm going to mention now, it is actually canon with the series. The creator of the game of the Clock Tower series, pardon. Uh, he specifically mentioned that Jennifer's is the yeah. actual path to take, like the one you should play that's actually relevant to the story, but you should still play Helen's to get an interesting, like, um, storyline with, like, Barton in that. Um, did I get the key? No, I didn't. No, I did. I did. I did. So, yeah. You, essentially, Jennifer's is the true path, but Helen's is interesting. You should also play it a while kind of thing. And it is. Helen's is interesting in its own, like, parts. Um, we need to go... Actually, we need to go down below. We need to go save Nolan and get some balls before we go to the library. So yeah, let's... Oh, we need the key. Although interesting, in my other... When we went through earlier, this was unlocked. Interesting. Sorry. Something to keep note of. Alright, so let's go wake up Nolan. Somebody attacked me from behind. 
You know what sucks? There's no way to skip these scenes. Like, we have to, we have to continue and watch them over and over again. It's kind of sucky. What about Jennifer? Have you found her? No, not yet. That's okay. I'll help you look. We'll find her. Alright, so let's pick up the batteries, because we need those. We need to check out that fireplace. Or did I actually interact with it? I did not. Damn it. Ugh. Okay, let's go get the balls. Damn it. It's very annoying. I was hoping we could kind of skip and grab the batteries, but you have to check the fireplace. Ugh. Ugh. So annoying. So frustrating. Okay, let's... Let's head back. We shouldn't be harassed by Scissorman, really, at all. Um, at a certain point in the game, it's all relied on timer if you dawdle too much in certain areas. Um, once you get a lot of the little um, hot spots or I, I try to remember triggers of you know certain objects tricking Scissorman, it kind of gets pretty boring. Um, you're just basically waiting for the timer to run out to actually see Scissorman. So, we need to use this, this, on that. Okay, now we can get the freaking batteries. Jeez. Although, there was something on the bed earlier. I don't know if you guys saw that. I should have interacted with it. But I decided not to, because I thought it was just some little glitch. Could have been Scissor Man. Maybe if we see it next time, we'll, we'll definitely interact with it. Anywho, um, I need to go through this door. And then we need to go through that door. And, nope, not the stairs. Not the stairs. We need batteries. Alright, give me those batteries. So yeah, with all said and done, we're going to go to the library, so we got to do a little bit back and forth, up and down, but this time with purpose. We're not taking this route because it's a scenic route. Just saying. Okay. Oh, wait. That door. into here. Alright, let's get the box right away. Okay, and let's go burn the box. Yes, there it is. Throw it 
or you and your fire. Alright, so we have the cosmetic key. Fantastic. Let's get out of here. And let's examine the scratch marks because you have to. And then we use the book on this. And let's go get a balls out to enter said place. And let's do some ball dropping. Um, in a perfect world, moon should be the right one. I say in a perfect world, run, gameplay. Oh, it is. It's the dry path. Oh my goodness, it is. Oh. That was incredibly lucky. That was also lucky. So we have to watch the scene with gods, unfortunately. But we got this. We totally got this. Um, so yeah, there's always skipping this. Um, actually, you know what? We could skip it with the power of editing. I'm going to skip this. All right, guys. So power of editing. We skipped the scene. Huzzah. Power of editing compels us. Anyway, we got the gun. Let's go deal with Scissor Man. Uh, as much as I want to try and be experimentational right now. I really shouldn't. Uh, well, if you guys are meaning what I mean, or wondering... Oh my goodness, that was terrible. If you guys are wondering what I mean, is that I kind of want to go through the fireplace. And then use the gun. To see what's faster. But nay, we're going to do this proper, because we want Jennifer alive. And I don't know if by going through the fireplace, you know, poor old Jennifer dies or not. Even if we have the gun. Who knows? Something for me to tinker and figure out in my own time. It's okay now. I've got Scissor Man cornered. Wait here. Alright, so like they said, we got Scissor Man cornered. Let's approach him. We all know who he is. Professor Barton. Why? How could you? Helen, I told you when you first joined my seminar. There's always a danger of turning toward evil. When you are researching criminal behavior. Always remember that danger. What are you saying? 
saying? I mean, it, it's ironic, isn't it? That I was drawn in by his evil soul. Helen, do you believe that you really have the strength to keep it from happening to you? Can you really deny that you are involved in this case because you wanted to be involved? Maybe you too are attracted by the vast darkness. I... I'm not like you. Uh, uh. All right, Teach. She's okay. All right, so the let's go. Was Professor Barton. Wait, what? Helen. Wait, no, wait. Oops. Teach, I know you're in shock, but you are alive. I don't think we're going to continue here. I think we're going to get an ending. Oops. Um. That's something to be happy oops, about, ain't oops, it? Oops. Oops. I think I needed some more items, didn't I? Oops. Oops. Um. Uh. Okay, guys. I am back. So, Barn died. I... Got all the items we needed before this scene, so the biggest thing was the door spell. That's what I missed. <sighs> so this should play a little bit differently here. All right, Teach. She's okay. And the case is solved. It is not over yet. Helen? The professor said he was drawn in by his evil soul. His. In other words, the real scissor man is still alive. It's not over until he is dead. Gots, please stay with Jennifer. What about you? I'm going to take another look around. I'm going to find the real scissor man. I see. Be careful. Helen. I'll be all right. All right, so even you could tell the scene was, you know, angle different, played out different. So yeah, we are on the track for ending A now. So like I said, the biggest thing I forgot to get was the door spell. Um, everything else we basically have, we are ready to fight Scissor Man if I remember correct. Just thinking in my head. No, I need cosmetic key. We need to go back into the church. Derp. <laughs> and then we can go fight Scissor Man. And get this ending A that you know, you guys have been long waiting for. And we can get on to Jennifer's side of the story. Holy pickles, guys. Oh, wait. Wrong door. Right door. <laughs> you can kind of see Jennifer's side. The side that is meant to be played. What the creative clock tower says is the quote-unquote right path. So yeah, we got a sketch of a mansion. We can finally find that passage. So with all said and done, let's go in here.
And let's go through this one. Because we need to go to the garden to tinker with the fountain. You know, that whole shindig. So yeah, obviously... Oh, no, wrong door. The ending scene will play out differently because we saved Jennifer. Because we found out who the true killer... Well, no, we haven't found out who the true killer is, but, you know... The fact that Barden is no more, and a couple other things here and there. So yeah, that's just gonna drain, and then we go down here. And then we run over here. I'm just going to grab this and get this ready. Just because we know what to do with it. You know, just bludgeon scissor men with it, you know. Get this far, Helen. Edward? That is Edward's voice? You... You're the murderer? <laughs> Let's play, Helen. Alright, so this is going to play out differently. Let's put the statue in. And we are good to go. No reason to get upset, is there, Teach? I don't think we can make it. I am certain Jennifer is still alive. Hey, someone's there! Jennifer? Helen? Jennifer, you're alive! Helen! Alright, so let's skip this, because we're going to be seeing it near the end. So, rank ending rank 7, everyone survived, everyone's happy, we can all go camping now, and, I don't know, eat marshmallows, s'mores, that kind of thing.
So yeah, let's let's check the endings now. So yeah, we have Helen's all cleared up here. So what does that mean? It means we're on to Jennifer. So I'm gonna end the ending. Blah 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 blah. blah. So I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying my let's play of Clock Tower. As usual, do let me know. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Um, check out my other Let's Plays as well. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in my next episode where we jump into Jennifer. Bye!